I'm sick of my casting flasks burning up and getting all charred. So I'm going to show you how to make an invincible casting flask out of metal. This is what I'm going to use. A piece of 8 inch square tubing. I'm not much of a fabricator, but this is already fabricated into a box. So I think it'll work great. Anyway, first thing I need to do is mark it and cut it in half. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take my little mini measuring T-square thing. I don't know what it's called. And a piece of soapstone to draw my lines. Now I'd like to make a nice clean cut on a bandsaw, but I don't have one big enough. So I'm going to very carefully use my angle grinder. And I'll do my best to protect my eyes and body while I cut it. So now I got two boxes. That's too thick, so I'm going to cut them in half again. This piece of square tubing will be big enough to make two flasks. Well, that's not even close. Good thing I checked both sides because my measurement was way off. I'll adjust that and then get my lines drawn. And then I'll get to cutting. Now I have the sides cut all the way through, but I left the corners intact. Reason being, I need to weld guide pins to this thing so it will line up when I put it back together. And I think it would be better to weld them on there when it's all square and perfectly in line than to cut it apart and then try to put it back together, line it up, and weld it. I think it'll be easier to do it now. So let's do it now. For pins, I'm going to take a small piece of flat bar and cut eight pieces, about two or three inches long. I'm not really measuring it. I'm just eyeballing it. I'll file off any burrs and then it will be ready to weld. Welders love to make fun of bad welders, so feel free to let me have it. I know this is bad welding, but I just gotta make it stick. So all my guide pins are welded on there, and now I'm going to finish cutting it in half. By keeping it together, the guide pins are now perfectly aligned, and now I'll cut it in two pieces. Uh-oh. So the pins are a little too tight, and they're hanging on to the lower piece. I'll get a hammer and knock them apart and figure out how to adjust this. To adjust it, I just took a few light taps with the hammer to bend the pins out just a little bit. And I took a file to file down the inside edge just to make sure there was nothing catching on the lower piece. And now that slides together perfectly. I hit one side with some spray paint just so I can tell which side is which. Just in case if I twist it, it doesn't fit right. It should, but just in case. So that fits super nice. The thing I'm going to do now though is inside here it's very slippery. And if you have a slippery edge like this one thing that can happen is when you pack all your sand in there you go to pick it up and the sand just goes Is that a technical term? It slides right out. So I'm going to take some small pieces of that flat bar and weld it to the side so there'll be a rib there to hold the sand and keep it from going So I'll tack those ribs on there just well enough to make them stick. Okay, so that little rib there should keep the sand locked in place, so it won't go whoosh out. One last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some pieces off of this angle iron to make some handles to hang on to. This is a little big, but it's all I got. Again, no measuring, just eyeballing. I'll tack those handles on there as well, and then I think we're about done. There we go, an indestructible casting flask. I can spill all the metal I want on this and it's not going to burn up. Let's make sure it works. Let's test it. I'll start with one of my favorites and one of the simplest things there is to cast. A shark tooth and a dinosaur claw. 
I have a hundred other videos where I go into detail of the sand casting process, but I'm going to fly through this because I just want to see if there's anything I missed or could add to make this box better as I use it. And wouldn't you know it, on this particular pour, I didn't spill anything onto the flask, but I could have if I wanted to. You'll notice I have my welding gloves on. I tried to tear this apart barehanded before and man those metal handles were hot. Casting turned out beautifully. I'd say this is the best flask I have. It does conduct heat a lot more than wood. The handles got pretty hot. And when I was ramming I could feel the ledges in there every now and then so I definitely wouldn't go wider than that. Potentially I could take a grinder and grind a recess in there to keep the sand from holding in. But this worked pretty well. Sand didn't fall out. I'm happy with it. I still got another half to make another one. That's my version of an indestructible metal casting flask. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.